What up guys? J Pops in the house. All right, so I didn't know what to title this video. I wanted to title it like top five glow in the dark pops, but then I realized I'm showing you guys like six pops. And then depending on the way you look at it, I'm only showing you guys four because there's only four pop boxes. So then I just decided to say, I'm showing you all of my glow in the dark pops. So how I'm doing this is showing you guys the worst glow to the best glow and we'll just go in that order. So starting us off is Minecraft Creeper. This is the FYE exclusive. It's the green creeper. Now the glow is really cool on this. The darker stickers that you see like on the side here, they don't glow in the dark. Only like the lighter part of him glows. Um, I think that's pretty cool because it, it offsets it. I really think they could have made the Charged Creeper glow in the dark too, the GameStop exclusive, but either way, this one is really cool. I put him at like the last spot because his glow, even though he does glow pretty cool, it fades super quick. I put them out in the sun and under the spotlights. I don't have like the, you know, the black light to charge them, but you know, put them out in the sun and everything and the glow lasts maybe like three seconds. So that's why he got like the last spot. Anyway, moving on is Disney's Tron. Now, this one is really cool. I like the way it glows in person. It glows super bright. The lines, whoa, almost dropped it. The white lines that you see on his suit, those are the ones that glow in the dark. So this up here, um, this part here of his helmet doesn't glow. His face doesn't glow. His boots don't glow. Just the white parts of him, which is pretty cool. I mean, that's how it is in the movie and in the Kingdom Hearts game. So I think that's pretty cool. The glow does last for a long time. So that's why I put him at number four, number five, uh, no idea what number that would be. Anyway, moving on, we have my Sora, Goofy, and Donald Chase Tron pack. Now I've never opened this. When I first got it, I took it, took it out the, you know, the mystery box. Um, I took some pictures of it glowing inside the box. You know, I put them out in the sun, put them under the lights. I put them on my Twitter. You guys can go and check them out over there, but I have never taken them out of the box. So I have no idea what the glow looks like out of the box and I've always wanted to know. So what we're doing is finally opening my Tron Chase Pack. Whoa, 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 whoa. So we're gonna have to open this up super, super careful because I don't want any creases in the box. I don't want any creases in the, the plastic. We're just gonna have to like be really careful with this. One hour later. All right guys, we got them out of the box. These look awesome out of the box. I'm a massive Kingdom Hearts fan. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is there is some sunlight left outside. So I will go and charge these up and then we're gonna see what they look like glowing in the dark. Okay, so there is no sunlight out here, but hopefully like the UV rays can do a little something for Sora here. Um, if not, we just put them under these spotlights inside. All right, next up we got Donald. We're giving Donald some rays here. The rays did Sora good. I'll show you guys what, the, what that looks like glowing in the dark soon, but giving Donald some rays. Then we got Goofy next. We are back with the Sora, Goofy, and Donald Tron pack. I saw what it looks like glowing in the dark, and I gotta say, it's awesome. Um, it might be a tie now for my number one spot. I initially had all the other pops out of the box, except the one, and I saw what they look like glowing in the dark. I only knew what these look like glowing in the dark in the box, um, and it was really good. So I kind of knew that it was gonna glow in the dark outside of the box really good, but I just didn't know who I was gonna put at number one. So I gotta say it might be a tie. Let me show you what they look like glowing in the dark. First off, first off we got Sora. The top of his head glows a bit more than the rest of his body. So the whole outfit glows pretty much on Sora, Goofy, and Donald. All the designs, the colors, on the light blue colors on them glow in the dark. The top of their helmets are a bit different colored a little bit, but you can also see the glow on the side of Sora's head, the little headpiece that he's got there that glows pretty cool. Goofy glows really good. He's kind of like the taller character of them all, so he's got a lot more glow to him, a lot more designs, but pretty much the designs on him and, and Sora are the same, and they both glow pretty good. Donald is the little guy, he doesn't have as much designs, so he doesn't glow as much, but he does glow really good. Donald's one of my favorites. Um, his glow is really good. I like him a lot. This is the only pop with Donald that, that he doesn't have like a scowl on his face. All the other pops, like the Kingdom Hearts pops, he's got kind of like a little scowl. That's kind of just how he is. So that's what I had at kind of like my number two spot. I took some pictures of them. They, they come out really well taking pictures. That's Sora. 
sorry, I don't know if you guys can see it with the glare, but those are pretty cool pictures that I take that I took with the glow in the dark. We got Goofy and Donald. This is Donald here. Like I said, he's kind of shorter, but he does have a really awesome glow. And then Goofy here, the taller one of the three. So, oh, also, the Creeper and Tron, when you're actually videoing them with the phone or with the camera, you can't see them through the screen. You can only see them after on the clip when you actually brighten up the clip just a little bit. In person, they glow, you know, you can see the glow perfectly. But through the lens, you can't see them. So are Goofy and Donald, you can see through the lens, through the camera lens, through the phone. That's what I think is really awesome. So what I did have at my number one spot was Hades. Now, his whole face glows, his arms glow, his hands glow, his hair doesn't glow, but it is translucent and you kind of see a little bit of the glow through it. But I think Hades had one of the best glows that I've seen. Like I don't have too many glow in the dark pops, so I kind of can't compare it in my collection to other glow in the dark pops, only the ones that I have. But as soon as I turn the video on, just like with the Tron pack, you can see Hades through the lens of the camera, of the phone. And that's why I think he had like a really strong glow. And I think, you know, the whole face glowing is pretty cool. His arm glowing. If they did a little something more with his hair to glow, I think that would have been really awesome. But like I said, the translucent part of it makes it actually pretty cool. So he was at my number one spot. I think because I can see the glow a bit more through the camera, through the lens, I think he might top the Sora, Goofy, and Donald Tron pack. But I like the Sora, Goofy, and Donald Tron pack more, more than Hades. But if I had to pick because of the glow, I think Hades got the number one spot. All right, guys, so those are all of my glow in the dark pops from the worst glow to the best glow. I love the glow in the dark pops. They're really awesome. I want to add a bunch more to my collection. So that's it for this video. J Pops signing off. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for tuning in. And as always, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe.